Hey guys, this is the Go Go Plata and the Loco Plata from Closed Guard, two of my favorite techniques. Let's have some fun. Hey guys, Coach Tom here. I'm a big fan of uh, Tenth Planet Jiu Jitsu. I think all forms of grappling and Jiu Jitsu, uh, there's so much to teach and so much to learn. And uh, in my academy, although during the colder months we train always in the gi, we do train in the no gi all over the hot months here in Australia. And so we use a lot of 10th planet techniques here. Uh, I've even sent some of my students over to 10th planet schools. However, because we train mostly in the gi, I alter some of my 10th planet techniques. So some of the ones that you guys watch here might not be the same as say someone like uh, Eddie Bravo might teach. However, uh, they certainly work for me. They certainly work for my students. And I'm just going to show you some two cool attacks that you can do if you're a flexible guy or gal, okay? And we're going to do the go go plata and the loco plata, okay? Let's have a look. So I'm here in the closed guard, and my first goal when I have a guy is to break the posture. Gi or no gi? I want to break this posture. Once I've broken this posture like this, I want to get an overhook, okay? So from here in the gi, I've got a lot of options. But the one we're going to have a look at today is me putting my foot on his hip and coming out and bringing my leg up, okay? So from here you can play Williams guard, stuff like that. This is a really good guard and a really good way to get on the platters. So if I'm in the gi or no gi and I break someone down and I've got an overhook here, I can grab this lapel or my favorite this lapel and I can start moving out to this kind of position, okay? But however I got here, I might just get here like this if I can push their head away and get my foot in front, you're in for a rough day. Now, if he leans away, I'm simply gonna hit my arm plata, okay? And I'm gonna finish. However, of course, in Jiu Jitsu, people don't always do what we want. So, as I bring him down now, and I've got my overhook, and I've got this leg up here, and I bring this foot in front of his face, which is very easy to do if you're flexible, he often will want to face me. So he wants to turn this way. So that's how he defends on the platter. And so what I'm gonna do is my left hand now is gonna reach around and grab onto my toes. A little tip is I always make sure I grab past the uh, toe knuckle here to a little bit of my foot. Just in case I need to put the torque, I don't wanna pull my toe off, all right? I've broken my toes before. So I come around and I grab onto my toes here. And now my right hand like a waiter just goes underneath my heel. Once I have this here, I pull with my left hand and I push with my right and I get a real quick, easy tap. However, as many guys find who've done this technique, as I go to do this, sometimes from here, they will start to affect by grabbing your toes here, okay? And guys can sort of try to crank almost like a, a calf lock toe hold. When that happens, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to that hand there, okay? And I'm gonna grab my toes. Once I've done that, we bring our right heel up. Ha! Ah, and now, that becomes my hand pushing up. But it's got a little bit more power, so be careful. All right, easy tap. So let's have a look at those two again. First one is what people call a loco platter. Second one, go go platter. So I'm here, I pull him down, I get my overhook. And here, I love this position. And now, I bring my foot around. If he faces away, I, I will do on the platter. But he's been on the platter before, so he faces in. I grab the toes, I've got the heel, boom, right there. That's a go-go platter. But now, as I go to grab, he's grabbing my toes and stuff. I have to be careful here, okay? So my right hand with the C grip will push his hand out. I grab my toes, and now to get the extra horsepower, I bring my other foot out. You can see why it's good to be flexible. And then I just push. Easy tap. So there you go, guys. Two super cool moves, both proven at high levels. If you're flexible, there's not a lot of risk to this because even when guys pull out, I very rarely will get my guard passed because uh, if you're flexible enough to do this move, you've probably got a pretty tricky guard too. So really give this, give this one a go, guys. Gi and no gi, I love it. I set it up all different ways. But if you like the overhook guard, damn good guard, the Williams guard, like this is 101, especially if you're flexible. Have fun with this one, guys. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching the video guys. For more videos, click here. To subscribe to this channel to get all of our awesome videos, click here. And if you'd like to have our hour long series for free on foot locks and how to defend foot locks and leg attacks of all kinds, please click here. I'm Coach Tom guys, I'll see you next time.